Those are the Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today in Collectible Wars, uh, uh, since the previous triple threat. Do we even have to, like, do this? I mean, like, this is not even fair, I guess? Well, we just... For we usually do like the ver the counterparts for like Monster Arts and NECA for these videos, anyways. So we figure why not? Since there's a third option, uh, because the '89 one uh, triple threat match it is triple threat seemed to do well. We decided to do another one. So we have here is the NECA 2003, the Hyper Mazer NECA 2003, and the SH Monster Arts 2002 because it's the closest one and still. No, yeah, no, it's not close the same. enough. <laughs> it's okay. the only Monster Arts variant, and we're not getting. A NECA 2002, sadly. So. Oh, how about Monster Arts? Why don't we? Can't, why can't we get 2003? Because Monster, Monster Arts? Arts is still a thing. Well, I said, why aren't we getting a 2003? Monster yeah, I'm Arts surprised thing. we haven't yet. Because they literally just got to put a scar on this thing and it's sold. <laughs> it would still sell, sadly. Oh, I I would buy it. <laughs> Kiryu needs a friend. But anyway, uh, he'll be here in this video later. So first and foremost we're going to start with the prices uh this guy is 25 dollars currently this one is 25 dollars as well but not available as of the recording of this video so if you wanted to get him right now he would definitely probably be more money <laughs> you arm and a leg if you would want to do it if you want it would like him meow, right meow um but will be 25 dollars also a target target exclusive uh this guy on the other hand and granted he's not going to win the price point range here but because he is currently available on Amazon for ninety dollars plus sh or with shipping, uh, which is a reissue. Yeah, he's just been reissued, so he's got a nice price point for him for a Monster Arts figure. Um, but because of the price, these guys still win. Um, but it's not as dramatic as it was with the previous one. Yeah, some of them take it too far. This isn't actually too much difference. This is like workable difference. Yeah, it's like he's like a standard Godzilla price. Well, or at least Monster Arts wise. Well, these guys uh, really only, I think, have the price point going on for them. Because moving on for detailing, which one would you pick? I don't know. It's like, is that even a fair question, though, Steve? Detail wise. <sighs> I like the Mazer one because it gives you variety. Yeah, but... that's more of a paint job thing, I would think. I think detail wise, I got to give it to the Monster Arts. Um, just because, just like what we talked about the previous one, it's just got a lot more going on with the detailing on the scales. The spikes look really nice. The head sculpt is much more akin to what you see in the movie. I would say, I think his neck's a little too big, which is kind of what I like about these guys. The necks just don't seem as elaborate. But then again, the necks also aren't made of rubber and don't barely move and make the shoulders look funny. <laughs> you don't get that problem with this one. Look, Steve, your, your issue is you're focusing... On like the negativity what you don't see is he just has like the 1990s style where you women used to wear shoulder pads just to make him look you know more uh he's uh, a puppy he, he needs a like the football shoulders yeah 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 that's it <sighs> detail <laughs> he wins uh paint job hmm now i know with the biolante bio we wanted the biolante bio but i think that's still our friend um if you guys haven't seen previous videos, but I don't know why Steve's collecting fruit flies. Does he look like a guy that would eat fruits and vegetables? What the hell, Steve? Hey, I had an apple and yogurt today. Well, there's your problem. Stop eating so healthy and there won't be no flies well, down like here. I like my yogurt. It's the only way I'll eat the apples. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, but with the paint job, I think my issue is... I kind of like this one, but I think they went a little bit too overboard with, especially this like orange color here on the legs. I don't understand like that part. Like what is like, what what happened there? Like I get it's it looks I think it's supposed to be lighting, but also it just looks dirty. I like the cracking, but because you have it cracking, here too, right? I get the cracking part, but why is it like? It yeah, it's like gold dust, <laughs> Goldar or whatever his name is from the uh, wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gold dust. Solid gold. Uh, then the blue here on the spines. Um, I, th I, I think it's a, a unique look, but not something that I really super de duper care for. And um, our one is special out of package. He's just got the... Uh, he's got a little stain on his chest. Yeah. Somebody refuses to get him a towel still. Uh, but I really like the dry brushing on this one, though. I think it looks cool, and it kind of gives him like that nice like battle kind of weather to him. Like, he's, like, I feel like if after, like, having a scuffle with Kiryu, he's going to look more like this 
than the almost just jet black that is yeah. the Monster Arts one. Yeah, that's where I'm like confused at on this one because like each one has its positive things, but they're all like close to it to be similar. Yeah, I would still say <laughs> my problem with mine is mine is the Googles going on. Indeed. But I like the I still think I like the eyes slightly better. Because uh, I think like, the uh, the pupils are a little too big on this one. You think so? But they look straight. So, you know what? I think paint job. I'm going to give it to the regular. Really? I think if, if I had to pick one, I kind I like the dry brushing more so than the base the paint job. Like I think this is like if Godzilla was like just came out of the ocean, this is what he's going to look like. While Godzilla actually having a confrontation and a scuffle, I think this one wins. Hmm. Surprisingly, you're right, actually. Uh, if they toned it down just a little bit on the yellow and a little bit more on the blue in the back, I think the uh, Mazer one would have won this easily. Yeah, I think if it just would have, like, the crackling coming around and maybe, like, toned down the white or yellow, just like you said. Um, next for the articulation. I think I, I, this one, I, I don't even think. It's the Monster Arts one. Yeah, there's, like, not even anything to show or, like, try to... Because you can already see, because, like, with the, um... Oh, uh, with the Biolante one, the tails could hold their pose. And this one still does it, but the Monster Arts one still does it just as well. But the neck... Is a big thing. Can pose. Arms. Got a lot of range of motion. I just popped his elbow out. That's how much he can move! It just dislocates so easily. Uh-oh. Steve needs to find the ball joint hole, ball joint hole, ball joint hole. There we go. So, uh, definitely the articulation. Gotta give it to the Monster Arts. Alright, and finally, uh, what they came with, or accessories, which, sadly, they're all a tie, because none of them came with anything. Well, that, okay, okay, see, this, this is where me and Steve are gonna disagree. This is where the original NECA 2003 wins because R actually came with accessory of X has paint on his chest. <laughs> well, then we got to give that one because he's, he's got all no, the paint. because that's supposed to be part of him. Ours wasn't. Well, just... So it's a mess. I've seen some people with it, some people are without. Yeah, so. exactly. It's a 50-50. It's a toss. And then we win on that one. Even. Straight down the middle. Anyways, uh, to conclude this, which one do you think is the best value? Uh, as of points, this guy wins. I I like the Mazer one just for the fact that it's different and I like different things. I do like different things, but I think the one I think is a clear-cut winner. Because, again, just like what we mentioned with the, the Triple K, which one would you rather have your heavy arms carrier next to? Because, to be honest, they're a little too big. Not a little bit. They are definitely, uh... <laughs> like, as you said, I saw in the photos, like, you can get it to work. Like, you just pose them a bit, you get them more upright, it'll be fine. But what's also kind of a nice benefit for him is he actually just had a reissue, too, so he's not even, availability-wise, this one's actually the hardest to get a hold of. Yeah, because he's not out yet, and, uh... And even when he comes out, he's a Target, target exclusive. Well, this, you can get on Amazon, most any online retailer... Uh, comic book shop, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and same with this guy. So, like, they're just as easy to get a hold of. Yeah. So, I think it's just... That it one's... down to, like, say 90 bucks he is. The neck is 25. You know, is the difference in the price worth? To me, it is. I would actually pay extra to get the Monster Arts on this one. Yeah, I think, like, especially if you got the Kiryu. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he's kind of a must. But if you um, just... Actually, I, to be honest, I have the wrong Kiryu, but even next to that one, I, it's still fine. Yeah. But if you're just buying a 2003 or 2002 just for the sake of having one, then just go with the NECA. Because it is cheaper and, you know... Yeah, if you're not really going to, like... It, which is odd to say, because, like, if, you, if you're not going to get the Kiryu to go with your 2003, it seems weird. Yeah. Uh, but if you just want, like, a good 2003 and you're not going to really mess around with it too much, neck is perfectly fine. Leave it in the box. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah, the box, I think, is actually probably the best thing. Um, but in terms of just having, like, one solid awesome Kiryu, or Kiryu Godzilla for your collection, 
definitely this one. But let us know in the comment section below which one's your personal favorite because we always get told that we're super biased with the Monsters ones anyways. <laughs> Even though the previous one we picked NECA and then I think the one before that we also picked NECA. Yeah, I think people are going to complain but about But anyways, uh, help us defeat those guys by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also have Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys like the keyword David Channel donate. We greatly appreciate it. Also have a Discord over up on our Patreon if you guys like to keep up, keep in contact with us. Uh, best way to do that. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.